Hello folks, my name is Rojo and welcome back to Ultima Underworld. When we last left off, we were sort of making our way back up to level 2. And we're going to continue doing that, however, I did do a little bit of off-screen exploration and talking to the Lizardmen, and I wasn't really able to get anything out of the Lizardmen, unfortunately. But, in my exploration, I did find a couple things that I had missed that I thought might be interesting to check out, so let's, uh, let's take a look here. This is basically on our way to level 2 anyway. Somewhere around here... There is a path. Yeah, right here, there's a path that I missed. Let's take a look at this. This path has... Okay, this path, is, <laughs> path has a gazer. No big deal. Actually, it may not be. At this point, we, uh, we're so much stronger than we were before. But I don't think this gazer has much hope of killing us. Yeah, he's gonna run. Oh, gotta aim up a little bit here. Come on. One more, maybe? Hey! Oh, shit, we just got level 13, too. That's actually excellent. That actually gives me an idea for future plans, too. Alright, an undamaged book. Speaking foul increases one's... Ah, okay, so this is the acrobatics mantra. I guess I'll bring it with... As long as we can carry this potion as well, which we can. Oh shit, it's a mana pot too. That's actually, I don't know, it seems pretty good. Why am I carrying this? <laughs> why, why do I still have this pouch? Whatever, let's just grab these runes. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have them. We'll leave the pouch here. And, uh... Well, oh, hello. Where did you come from? A hostile lurker, okay. Well, have at thee. Etc, etc. Tally-ho. Sally forth, and we, did we just one-shot him? I feel like we just did. <laughs> I mean, aside from all the misses. All right, cool, well, now that that is sorted, we, uh, we're gonna head back, uh, back to the easterly, northerly direction here. We're gonna not go to level two just yet. So there's something over here as well that I wanted to look at, if we can get up here. I think we can. Take a couple tries, maybe. Uh, I gotta back up a little bit more, I think. I'm not quite getting our full... full distance here. Oh, we've just done it! <laughs> uh, somewhere around here... to the north... There was a little, uh, little alcove. I think actually some of this stuff might be magical too. <laughs> not sure. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about that though. That's not what I'm looking for. Um, here. If you remember this little secret area that we found. If we put that right there, and well, put it maybe right there. We move this, uh, this vest. There's a wand here. Actually, well, I should look at the vest, I guess. Is it magical? Don't think so this time. I don't think I'm going to get lucky like I did with the pants. <laughs> um, and this this doesn't seem to be magical. So, there you go. We'll uh, take this wand. We'll take our bag back. We'll carry that out with us. Uh, but basically, now we're just going to be going back to... Uh, I think I just hurt myself there a little bit. <laughs> By the way, I think, um... Let's see, was it... Additional protection? No. It was toughness. Hmm, I, for some reason I thought toughness gave us extra HP, but I guess... I guess I'm wrong about that. I actually don't know what these enchantments do. I mean, uh, additional protection, you could probably guess. But <laughs> it does what it says on the tin, but... But, uh, specifically how, you know, is a little bit of a mystery to me. Alright, cool. So we have a stash here. We are going to drop some stuff, like this book. Scaling walls, art or science. I don't know if that's important. I'm going to just leave it here. I will keep this diary. I have a feeling that might be important. We've got all these potions. Um, oh shit, a cure poison pot. That's pretty good. So I guess, greater heal, lesser heal, regular heal. Tell you what, we, 
Give me a moment. I'm going to organize this inventory a little bit here. Alrighty, that uh, took quite a while, actually, but uh, our inventory is more sorted than before. I'm actually going to bring this sack with me um, for reasons which will become apparent in a minute. I just took some stuff out of some uh, some other stuff that we uh, weren't using since it happened to be in the area. And we came out here. So we really just want to go west and then south. To start with here, hello. A hostile goblin. All right. Oh, this is like a random spawn or what? He's dead now, though. <laughs> He's very dead. All right, well, now that that's done with, I guess we'll uh, make our way down to where I was going. May be able to stop by a shrine. I can't remember where the, where the shrine is. It is in relation to uh, the main, like, mountain man settlement here. Uh, King Treasure Mines. Um, oh no, the shrine is way up there. Okay. All right, never mind. We'll, we'll get to a shrine eventually here, but uh, it's not super pressing right now. We just need to go find Shaq. Uh, actually don't really remember how to get to Shaq, of course. I think bridges are good, though. I don't think that's the right way. I think we've got to go around something like that, and then we'll come down like this. Do one of these around the corner. If we can make it. There we go. Okay. We've done it. Uh, can I lift this? I cannot lift this. Seven gold coins, a block of incense. I already have incense, don't I? I don't. I guess I put this down. We're gonna... We're gonna bring this with us, I think. Okay. So now the question is... Is there anywhere I can drop shit safely? Basically looking for somewhere that doesn't have like a bunch of ramps and shit everywhere. Like right here might be an all right spot. Uh, this is like all of our magical potions that I haven't identified yet. So I'll put that there and I'll grab it on the way out. Okay, can I grab you now? I can. Excellent. I don't know, that looks like it fits to me. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I have food here, too. I, uh, we are a little bit hungry. Uh, I'll tell you what. Drop that. <laughs> the fish is still fresh, miraculously. I can't even believe it. Uh, how are we doing now? We're well fed. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. So uh, before I ask Shaq about the sword, I'm going to get a couple things repaired and uh, continue to identify stuff as best I can whilst I do that. I did identify a couple other of our potions here. Um, one of them was like a mana pot. I think one of them was a cure poison pot. So uh, pretty good, pretty good. Cool. So uh, rested a couple times, got my boots and uh, legs repaired here, which is going to be somewhat helpful uh, and then I got all these potions I need as well so one is mana boost one is greater heal one is regular heal one is regular heal and uh, one is oh I guess I didn't get that one identified well the thing is we have like it seems kind of counterproductive to use a mana pot to identify stuff but at the same time I'm thinking maybe we should use this uh, scepter because it's uh it's kind of heavy compared to a potion. So we'll just get some, some of our MP back with no full charges. I don't know if that means it has part of a charge left. Let's see. Oh, it, do it does. And now it's just an unblemished scepter. Huh. Uh, <laughs> all right, fair enough. So, uh, yeah, no, I think the scepter is done with for now, or forever, rather. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything really that we can do with this. That's fine, though. We got uh, we got some MP back. Let's go ahead and just ID this guy. Lesser heal. Let's tell you what I'm going to do. 
is uh, I'm going to drop those at some point, maybe on floor four. For now, though, we'll drop that. And let's grab our sword pieces here and talk to Shag. All right. Um, I think this is the... Yeah, we already asked about the blade. Uh, can you tell me what this is? Well, it seems you found a part of the sword Caliburn. Fine sword that would be if made whole. Now, was there anything else? I have something that's in need of repair. Half the sword, right. But what if I give you the other half? Aye, tis a fine sword there, lad. I'm afraid it's seen better days, though. Do not fear. I'll make it whole for you again, but I must charge you 20 pieces for such fine work. Paid when you pick it up. Very well. Um, here it is. All right. I'll have her right for you soon enough. Come back in an hour. Don't forget the 20 pieces of gold. Excellent. All right, so we'll leave that with Shaq. Um, we're not going to come back all that soon, honestly. Because <laughs> uh, there's no real particular rush to, uh, to do so. But what I do want to do is we have some other important items. Um, and I think I'm going to drop some of them here. For example... The standard of honor. We're gonna put it. I'm actually gonna take uh, put it in this bag. I'm gonna take these guys out and put them in the potion bag, keeping those for a reason, which we'll see momentarily. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that. And actually, I think that's all I'm gonna get rid of for now. So we'll uh, just drop that there. And we'll move on. We're actually going to be heading back to uh, floor three now. Because there's somebody there that we need to catch up with before we head back down to the uh, the lower levels of the abyss. Well, I found these on the way. So uh, let's see what we got here. Cure poison. We don't really need another one of those right now. And uh, some other green potion, which I suppose... Can use one of our one of our identify charges on. Let's see. I think I left. Did I leave the the wand? Where did I put the wand? There it is. So here we've got another heal potion. So if you recall, somebody had stolen a light, a very important light, from the knights down on floor four, and we met such a man who uh, really seems to enjoy lights for some reason. We are going to go find this man right about now, and uh, take a look at his inventory once again. Hello, Zack. <laughs> well, come on in and shut the door, won't thou? Uh... Certainly. Very good. Now, what brings thee here, Zack? My name's not Zack, it's Wendell. Very well, Wendell. Thou can call me Zack, if thou wish. I thank thee. What art thou doing here, Zack? I collect torches, lamps, and tapers. Wouldst thou care to see? I would. An unused taper. Remember we saw this? It's the one that doesn't quite look like the others. I want this, and I will give you, since you like lights, and I suspect that maybe you will value lights more than other objects, um, how about we do something like this? Let's see here. Let's think about the deal. I'm getting a terrible deal. I make thee this offer. He accepts. Farewell. An unused taper. But is it anything more than just an unused taper? That is the question. Let's see. I did clean out my potion inventory a little bit. Aha! The taper of sacrifice. Good job, Window. We have found another of Kabiris's artifacts. One of his talismans, even. Amazing. And with that, we really need to head back down to floor four, although we should stop at this shrine real quick since we're here. So 
just uh, right down this way. Yeah, here we go. All right, let's uh, let's see here. I want to do Lan for more lore. We've increased greatly in the lore. We'll see how much that really is. We have a lore of 17 now. Our mana skill is pretty low, which uh, concerns me. Let's we'll try another Mu Am. See if we get lucky. Lore and casting, we did not, but uh, so be it. Uh, we also need to do Onraz pretty badly. Increase greatly in. Whoop, I guess I misclicked that a little bit. Increase greatly in defense. So yeah, we got like three points there. And uh, I think we'll do it again. Oh, we're not ready to advance. We only got three three uh, thingamajigs that time. But uh, at least I think, right? Did I, do, did I count that right? <laughs> anyway, that's that's fine. Um, yeah, just wanted to get those uh, skills. Is there something down to the south here? Hang on. Oh, it's just, just one of these windows. Okay. All right, back to floor four we go. Interestingly enough, uh, this is where we went up to floor three last time, and there is this door here, and we don't have a key. I don't know if we're ever going to get a key, so I think this is one of those times when it's acceptable to try and knock the door down, because we've explored pretty much all of floor four here, I think, anyway. Badly damaged, yeah, we're definitely hurting it, so... We'll see if we can just... Yeah, there we go. Pretty good. So what do we have down here? We have... A mellow... Oh, a deep lurker. Deep lurkers are... Basically... Dang really dangerous versions of regular lurkers. We need to get some water walking going here. At least he's mellow, though. That's not something... Uh, you would necessarily expect to see. Right, I guess we can jump up here. I'm not going to attack him. I think Deep Lurker is also poison, so... Uh, definitely, definitely dangerous foes. Let's see if we can... It's a little bit of a, a, little bit of a ramp here. It's messing up my jumps. <laughs> Maybe I jump from a little bit lower, even. Yeah, there we go. Alrighty. There's another Lurker. This one's also mellow. Huh. Okay. Sturdy chest. Oh, this chest is locked. Uh, I, we don't have any lockpick skill, I don't think. Yeah, unfortunately not. We could bash this chest open with our, our fists, but uh, like in many RPGs, it runs the risk of uh, damaging the contents. So instead, I think we'll just remember that it's here. And then um, come back later when we have either some lock picking skill or some other means of perhaps opening it. Where's, where is this? Wait a minute. Oh, did I just never go this way? <laughs> okay, well, fair enough, I guess. Uh, one thing that I actually forgot about is uh, that wand we found back on level 3 in the little cubby behind the waterfall. It's a wand of acid. We're going to start using some of these wands, I think, because we really don't need to be carrying around all these. Uh, so we will uh, kill some people with them. Another interesting thing is this taper. Permanent light source. Not quite as good as the lantern, though. In fact, not anywhere near as good, so... Uh, We'll stick with the lantern. I guess we'll carry this around for now. Uh, so the last thing I think I want to do on this floor, well, we can definitely get rid of that, is uh, I'm going to go back to the bullfrog puzzle because somebody gave me a little bit of a tip uh, as to something we could do there. On the way to the puzzle, I thought also we maybe would stop by the Knights area because we did get the Taper of Sacrifice. I thought they might be interested to know. Uh, I want to talk about the Taper that is lost. Hast thou heard tell of it or even seen it, perhaps? Uh, yes, actually, I have it. Is it in thy possession even now? 
Now please show it to me. Here it is. Ah, to see the taper again, this is good indeed. I thank thee for the chance to see the taper again. Now that thou hast found it, it is right that thou dost keep it. Thou wilt find that the light it produces is quite steady, for it continu continually sacrifices itself to produce light for thee. Kimbiris imbued it with virtue, however, and although it consumes itself constantly to provide light, it is continually replenished as well. I shall keep it then, and keep it safe. Good luck. All right. I think that just fell on the floor. Maybe. Yep, let's not lose that. Cool, all right. On to the puzzle. All right, so I've messed with this bullfrog puzzle a little bit. Just kind of went around and raised a few of the platforms and not others. So we have a little bit of space to work here. Somebody mentioned that, uh, if you recall, we got this... Uh, This scroll here to pass into the unseen, jump through the scene. They mentioned it had something to do with this puzzle and somewhere that we could jump. Which makes me think that I guess maybe there's a uh, an illusory wall around here somewhere, but which one? It's not at all clear. So I guess we'll uh, we'll just start jumping. <laughs> Hopefully this is high enough. Oh, but we definitely need this. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a requirement. Let's see, where, what's the most likely area? It's either going to be, like, in probably in the middle there, somewhat in the middle there, or somewhat in the middle there, right? Aha, I found it. By jumping around a little bit, we've got something right there. On the map, wait, but where was it? It's southeast. So south, so it's northwest, northeast, southeast. It's over this way. Is it on this wall? There's something, no, it's on the wall. On the eastern wall. Somewhere through here. Not quite lined up right, I don't think. Going to be farther south. So we're going to jump from like here, basically, I think. Pretty, pretty close. I think we're just barely missing it. I can kind of see where I need to jump, I think. It's like, see, kind of right there, there's a little bit of a seam. Ah! <laughs> Hey, we've done it! Amazing! <laughs> Alright, what do we got going on in here? Uh, we got another potion. I guess we'll take it. At least we know it's magical. We got a wand. A wand of fireball. Cool. Alright. So, uh, since we have this, I guess I can show something off that uh, we won't keep it. But I also have this crystal ball. What? Hello, friends. And I can't can't speak to them at all, unfortunately. But uh, I think we found ourselves some wizardly-looking types. So I guess we'll write that down. There's an orb there. Right. Okay. So something that's interesting is uh, we'll uh, let's put this potion in here. If we take, say, for example, this potion. And uh, this is just to show it off. I'm not actually going to keep this, but drop that potion right there. And to actually hit, there we go. And we can take this. And this is a pile of debris of restore. Wait, what? Restore mana? We've just created <laughs> an, an infinite mana pot by destroying that potion with fireball. I don't know if you can do it with other spells. Also, don't throw it, because I guess that makes it be destroyed. But I just wanted to show off that little glitch. Because um, uh, I thought it was interesting. Somebody had asked about it, so... There you go. But at this point, I think this may end up being a little bit of a longer episode here. Uh, <laughs> at this point, 
We really need to get to those lower floors. 